Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have two new models from Kaiser. Each one of them is in two different variations and I have two new configurations of awesome knives they already have and that already exist and we're gonna get into them and we're gonna go fast and all that's gonna start right now. This is the Kaiser Bugai. Oh <laughs> yeah, Bugai, <laughs> would you look at it? Just look at it and check it out. We're gonna start right off with a little bit of texture vision. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice and soft. Has that awesome micarta that I like. Micarta! And check it out. Look at this, holy moly. We have a reversible pocket clip and it is sitting on top of the scales, but we do have flat screws. So that's very nice, very, very nice. Feels very snappy and ooh, pretty good jimping. Could be a little more aggressive, but it's not too shabby. We'll see how that works. Here's this side. Here's this side, and this is a design by D. Antimonov, and let's check it out. Are you ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that beast. It's like a, a small beast. It kind of reminds me of uh, something you would use for like canty, canty? <laughs> Here we go. Camping, hunting, fishing kind of deal. Look at that blade. Love that black stone wash. And this one is, yeah, look at that. Can you see it? Just see it, it's 3V. This is some heavy duty, sturdy steel right here. And I love this blade. The tip right here is reinforced, extra strong. Look at that, oh yeah. Nothing like a strong tip. And I, I like this blade shape. You have a nice flat, you have some belly. And this right here, you can really get, in, get into it if you want to or do some scraping. Now. Oh yeah, this feels so good. It feels very good in the hand. I have large width hands, and just for a quick reference, it's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, is seven and a quarter. And that's what it looks like in a large width hand. It feels comfortable. I wouldn't want it being any shorter, or the handle would be in any shorter for my width hands, but it fits very nicely. And the ergos are good. The jipping, I wish it was just a tad, just a tad more aggressive, but it does work. Look at that, grabs my finger just right. This would be perfect for most folks. I, I'm a little big on uh, aggressive jimping. Has a fuller going all the way down. We'll see if we can use that to reverse flick it. Um, maybe, yeah, if you go down a little far, ooh, yeah, look at that. Now for a black wash blade, it already is pretty darn smooth. Usually the black wash gets wore off and they break in and they work a lot better. And the reverse flick is money. The thumb flick is money. The slow roll, this has all of the opening methods that I enjoy. Of course I like them all because I'm a fidgeter. Are you a fidgeter? Tell me that in the, in the description. Here I go again in the comments. Make sure you say something about one of these knives I'm gonna show you. Now check this out. This is the 3V version. Overall, from tip to tip, it's 7.3 inches. It's 2.9 inch, 2.98 inches of sharpened length. It's 3.1 inches of overall blade length. It's 3.5 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of points. It's three and a half ounces, so it's not a heavy knife, and it is very comfortable. Now, you ready for this? Here, now this one, these run around 89, and I will have links to multiple places where you can get these knives, and I also have 10% off discount code, so you might wanna check that out. Now look at this, here's the other version. Yeah, and this still has that great, awesome micarta. Micarta, I love. The micarta from Kaiser, it's so good. This is the exact same thing as, as this, except this is 154 CM, baby. You know I love me some 154 CM. This one with the 154, this one's gonna be a little less. Uh, these run 69, so these are $20 cheaper. This is, if you're not familiar with 3V steel, this is stuff like that people use for bushcrafting and things like that because it is so tough. So if you don't need something that'll cut through nails, <laughs> you can always go with the 154CM version. I'll put them here next to each other so you can get a, a good idea of what they look like. And while we're at it, we'll just slide into the DMs. <laughs> We'll, we'll just, we'll slide the QSP penguin in there. Now look at this. If, if you have a penguin, and everybody should have a penguin, right? It is, it is about that size. You get a, just a tad more handle, but the handle is higher than the penguin. Uh, as far as cutting length, you get about the same amount of cutting length, but this one is more robust. It's a lot tougher. It's thicker. Um, the weight isn't that much different. The blade stock looks to be just about the same on these. It's not that different at all. But man, I tell you what, this is a good one. The action, oh, now see the action on this one is drop shutty because it doesn't have that coating. That coating will wear a path on the inside on the detent ball and it will eventually 
be that drop shutty. So this one is super snappy. It's easy to open with your thumb, reverse flick, all of that good stuff. And look at this. They have a sharpening toil on both of them, which is very nice. Your lockup is good. Is this one centered? It's pretty much centered. How about this one? I'm trying to run through them so I won't belabor everything. Uh, this one is also good lockup, good centering. It's possible it's a hair to the show side. I am very, very glad that they put a reversible pocket clip on it. I'm big time big on lefty love. Plus I carry a knife in both of my pockets. Overall, first impressions out of the box. I don't have any complaints. You know, you can always nitpick something. Uh, the jipping, just a little more aggression. But other than that, it fits my hand very nice in the, in the regular classic grip like this. And then Oh yeah, look at this. We don't have a flipper. So you could get up here nice and close to really get in it. And this, it does, it reminds me of a bushcrafty knife. This might go along really well with your fixed blade if you're out doing some hunting, hiking, fishing, camping, that, that sort of thing. It is very solid. I mean, it feels like a small fixed blade. I really do like this new model. This is the Kaiser Aggressor. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, look at that. The red rich light scales. It looks more maroon to me or more, uh, what's that guy? Ron, it looks more burgundy. <laughs> That's how I remember that color, literally. But there's a look at that rich light scales. Um, there's not a lot of texture. It's relatively smooth. You do have a lanyard hole back here. And I'm seeing right now, we do not have a reversible clip, but you do have a deep carry uh, clip, not a reversible, and it's inset into the rich light. So that is very nice. It's too bad it's not reversible. Pretty st sturdy, and it is a different looking clip as far as Kaiser goes. And this is a front flipper. It is a very clean clean looking knife. There's some T6s back here and we have some black stone wash and there's two versions of these. Are you ready to see it? And, oh, by the way, if, if where's it at? I thought it would say, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Pow, right in the kisser. Ooh, very nice. This one is just like the version of the other one. 3V blade steel, baby. You can do some log splitting with this sucker. 3V is, some folks would say 3V is overkill for a pocket knife because of the strength of the steel. But really nice looking black wash on that. I do like the design and the look of this drop point blade. It is very clean looking. And you know, this, the red rich light, uh, it's, I'm calling it purple or burgundy. It does look very nice. You have the back spacer back here, which comes into your lanyard hole. And let's see, we've got plenty of lockup. And is it centered? Yes, it is centered. Can I over the top this? There's not much of a front flipper um, at all. Let's see if I can, okay, all right. So it's, it's reach overable. You can do the over the top flip very nice. And it is snappy, I mean, very snappy. And the, the jimping is done very well on this one. Right there. Um, it's This is very grabby. This is perfect jimp jimps for a front flip flip. <laughs> and okay, so this one is dropping a little slow, just like the last knife, the Bugai that had the coating. That's always gonna wear in and break in because you have the coating on the inside there. And once it cuts a little path into there, it will be smooth. Now you don't have a sharpening choil. So if, you're, if you don't wanna get a smile when sharpening this, you'd wanna put a piece of tape on it because there's no choil and the plunge grind just kind of disappears down into the heel. So the finish on it is really nice. The fit, it's solid left and right, solid up and down. No problems with that. And ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, now this has some very good ergonomics. I like that a lot. And so I'm noticing, if you listen, so this right here, the, uh, I, I almost forgot is this backspacer. Okay, you don't realize it, but I'm back. I just checked, I tried to tighten these screws and these screws right here. The backspacer is kind of free floating on the inside. So I would say that the barrel spacer in the middle, uh, this is probably a little bit thinner than the other version that I'm getting ready to show you. So this does move and you can kind of hear it. You can hear a little bit of a tink tink. So that is one thing to keep in mind with this knife. Other than that, I like everything about it. Let me show you the other version. And before I do, <laughs> let me tell you, this is 7.4 inches from tip to tip. It has a three inch blade and it weighs 3.55 ounces. It's right there in the three and a half ounce mark. Are you ready for this one? Pow, there you go. So I do like that they're putting out a new knife and they're giving you options for blade and for the handle. And I know a lot of people buy both and then they do a swap ski, but there you go. Here's the regular stone wash, nice and clean looking. And it has the burlap micarta. And if you look right here, you can see there's kind of an indentation right there. I've noticed that when I, when I hold it, it feels pretty cool. 
If you look over here, see how it's kind of kind of like an inward swoosh? That's very nice. Now this, I do love the burlap micarta. This is what it looks like after you carried it for a long time. It gets nice and dark. And this is what it looks like when it's brand new and if you keep it super clean. But this is one of my everyday carry knives, the Kaiser Gemini, which I really like. And yes, I am a big Kaiser fan. But there is a look at that. I would give it about a 2 out of 10. It's not super textured as far as feel, but it does look very good. Now this one, absolutely drop shutty. So if you like a front flipper, a clean knife, some people don't like the back flipper. They call it a pocket pe pecker because they reach past it to get their keys and stuff. That's not an issue with me, but it is for some people. This is a very easy one to front flip because they did such a good job on the Jip Jimps. Yeah, so very nice. This is the Kaiser Aggressor, and these run about 69. This one's 69, and this one's about 89 because you're gonna pay for that 3V steel. And let's check this one. Okay, so now this, here's the difference in the two. It's probably the thickness of the backspacer. This one is solid and does not move whatsoever. So I'm guessing it's probably has to do a little bit with the rich light and that's why it's not quite thick enough to be in there tight. The integrity of the knife is still there because you have the spacers in between there. But at least now you're aware of it. Now the next one is not this knife. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I have done probably five or six videos on the Kaiser original and I've drive, driven my wife absolutely nuts with this knife. I really do like it. It's a tad on the small side for some folks. It just barely fits in my hand. It's just right. It's a nice, super lightweight. I, it's one of my driving knives because it's so flickable and flippable. Well, they came out with an XL and I haven't got to check one out yet until now. Now we have, oh yeah, oh yeah, check that out. The Kaiser Original XL, baby. Now this one fits my large width hands a lot better. This is my new favorite Kaiser Original, just because of the size of my hands. This is the gunmetal. I know you all, well, maybe if you're new to the channel, you, you haven't seen all the different colors, but there's many colors and variations. And if you have a Kaiser Original, this is what the original looks like next to the original XL. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, don't, don't take me wrong. I am a big original fan because I do have a collection of them. They are a fantastic knife, but this one, Oh yeah, we're in new ball ballpark. We're in a new territory. There's some different versions of the Kaiser original, but this is the one we're here to check out is the original XL. So let me get it up here. This bad boy is a button lock. If you're not familiar, it has 154 CM blade steel. There you go. Your 154. You do have room for sharpening and the action on this one. Oh yeah, the spring. Good. Look at that. It's holding. Ooh, it has. Ooh. They must have done something. The the detent is the detent is good with this one. Man, it's very snappy, very flicky. And you can do all the same reverse flick and front flick. You can slow roll it. This is like a perfect EDC knife. This one and the original both are really good. You can choke up on it because you don't have a flipper. And the, this one has the black thumb studs. And look at that. Gee, I wonder which knife it is. Oh, maybe the original Gunmetal XL. Overall, it's 7.5 inches long. It has a sharpened length of 3 inches. It has a closed length of 4.2 inches. It's not a ginormous knife still. These run about 92 bucks. But, you know, if I didn't say it before, I have a 10% off discount code to Kaiser Knives. So in the description of, of each video and in the comments, the, if you go to the comment section, the top comment, I will have my 10% off code at Kaiser store. I also have 10% off at Mojave Outdoor, but they haven't been putting the code on new releases. So if you want a code on a new release, go to KaiserKnives.com. And the way to do it is use my link. That way it supports the channel and you can use my discount code. Are you ready for, are you ready for this one? <laughs> oh, mama. It's the Titanium Original XL in the frag pattern. That's what I'm talking about. You have T8s back here and one lonely T6 up here by itself. This is a button lock and check that out. You have frag pattern for your pocket clip, which is inset into the liners. Look at that. Nice and smooth. It is not reversible. Unfortunately, I wish it was a reversible clip and this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it feels so good. I love this texture on this frag pattern. Let me give you a quick look at the texture. A little bit of texture vision for you. So this one. 
feels just as good as the other one. Very snappy. I mean, it's just, it's just like a perfectly designed knife. They did such a good job with it. They, you know, they didn't put any jipping on it, but if, if you're not going to put jipping, that's fine. If you're going to put jipping, make it perfect. But yes, I am excited about this one. Having the XL is really a game changer with, with my width hands. I can choke up like this and have plenty of room. So if you have extra large hands, this is what it looks like. You know, my hand is three and a half inches to right here. So if your hands are bigger than mine, that'll give you an idea. This might be a total palm fitter for you, but you can choke up which makes it that much better to get right up in there with what you're cutting love this blade shape love the finish on it the finish looks so good now this you're you're getting your primo look at this wait a minute let me see let's see if we can see it here s35 vn baby so this has the premium steel and oh my goodness it has such a bite wow it's bitey <laughs> Oh yeah, I love me some S35 VN. Now the fancy cormorant and the frag pattern, they run around 139, but don't forget you can get, you can knock that down to like 125 with my discount code. So I hope you enjoyed checking out the new Kaiser Originals and the Bugai and the Aggressor. We're very aggressive as we're being Bugai. I think these are all great looking models and I love the upgrades to the XL now that I've got to check out the XL. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great day and I hope the rest of your week or your month or your year is fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you think about these knives. Do you have a favorite? Huh? Huh? Do you? Go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. Until I see you again in the chats or the live streams every Friday night. Remember, live life in the present. Keep a band-aid handy. And don't cut yourself.